Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Brightworks. So, uh, what we did here was we put in an Android 10 into a 2004 Gen 1 Cayenne. And all over the internet, everybody complains about FM reception not working once you put it back together. Um, so they all just use their phones for music, and I didn't want to end there. So after a little bit of research, what I found was going through the wiring diagram of the original radio, there's three plugs. You'll notice the difference. That little tab is at the bottom, little tab is at the middle, and this is a completely different connector. These two can be uh, confused. Well, where I have the red dot, that's pin five on the tab with the little connector thing at the bottom. That's the pin that powers the antenna amplifier that's in the rear spoiler. So assuming your radio reception was working before you made this change, um, that means your amplifier back there is still good. But it's this pin, pin five, right? And I went back to the, all this crap that the Zetron's box has. And this big box here titled, whatever that says, 05P1. So this guy here, that white wire is from the car harness, right? This is a jumper cable that Zetron sells. That white wire is what was coming off of this pin. So that white wire is where you're powering the um, amplifier. So on the other side of that white wire, there's a blue wire. And that blue wire is just kind of bundled off in here right and it doesn't really look like you're even supposed to use it but on it it does say antenna right the instructions in the Zetron stuff is there is no instructions so don't don't even try um, there's a guy who has a pretty good write up on it's either six speed or run list but just type in Zetrons and Cayenne to Google and you'll find it um, the other side of this is also says antenna and that comes out of the Zetron's box, right? It's one of the five, six different harnesses that you have to plug in. So when you cook those two together, now you've got power to the amplifier. And in my case, all the little uh, coverings had broken off. Uh, the only one I had left was, uh, I think the, the Europeans called it curry colored, but it was like tan. Um, and then the blue one, which you replace anyway, because the Zetron's going to have its own uh, uh, GPS antenna. So it's a, I made a little deal here. The green one that came off the back of your uh, and your original radio, green is for video. We never had video, so I have no idea. I had no idea that was in there. Blue was for the GPS. The tan is for something that Porsche calls diversity. So, I don't know. Maybe they were ahead of the game on this whole uh, diversity thing back in 04. But this black one is the uh, actual FM antenna. All right? There's no more long thing that you plug in. It's I think they call these FKRA or something like that. Anyway, that's it right there. You can notice that the cover that normally would be over it, like there's a blue one. There is no cover on it anymore because as we were unhooking stuff, two of them fell apart. So the only ones I knew were the tan and the blue, and I had two other ones. So I thought my problem was here. My problem was never here. My problem was how to wire up the antenna. So I don't know if this guy puts out 12 or 5, but the jumper harness came with a connector already on it so these are pre-installed connectors so don't skip this step if you skip this step even if you have this hooked up you won't have your amplifier in the back fired up uh, and you won't be able to get the fm radio so after a little bit of research uh, going through the factory wiring diagrams that white wire that comes in here that is the the magical wire to get the uh, FM radio to work. 
So on the other side of that, the Z-Trons jumper harness has this blue wire coming out and then this one going in. So if you've uh, updated to the Android and you're trying to figure out how do I get my FM reception back, no longer are you limited to just playing stuff through your phone. Um, that's, the, that's the trick. So good luck and uh, check us out at brightworks.com.